Hey everybody, Mike here with EverythingAboutConcrete.com. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the art of kick screening and how to hand screed concrete. So if, if this is the first time here and you don't know who I am, I own Days Concrete Floors and I also own the website EverythingAboutConcrete.com. In my business, we specialize in concrete floors, concrete slabs, pool decks, patios, stamp concrete, staining concrete, all types of concrete repair, concrete countertops, even epoxy floors. So if you'd like to learn about that stuff, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. I'm coming out with two to three videos a week about the different kinds of things we do and, and how we do it. So if that interests you, then go ahead down there and hit the subscribe button. So today we're going to talk about kick screeding or hand screeding concrete. Now we do both. We hand screed floors like this and we also have a vibra screed where we vibra screed floors. I'll have another video on that coming up soon. But today we're going to talk about how to hand screed with that straight edge right there. That's a magnesium straight edge. It's a 2 inch by 4 inch by 14 foot straight edge. It's pretty, it's pretty lightweight. It doesn't weigh very much. We, uh, me and my guys here, we, we probably prefer hand screeding over vibra screeding, especially on a floor like this that has a bunch of pipes. It's just for us, we've been doing it so long, it's just as easy for us, if not even easier than vibra screeding, to be honest with you. But the key for us is when we, when we put that straight edge down there, we want to tip it slightly towards, towards us so we're riding on the back edge. We don't like to keep it flat so the front edge is digging in. We just like to skim it across and have it slightly tilted away from us so that you can see right there we're just going on the back edge. When we pull the straight edge towards us, pick it up and then we kind of kick and fill our feet in. The key is each edge, the very edge of the straight edge, should be leaving a little bit of a line in the concrete as you go so we're wet padding we're wet screeding off those what we call those wet pads you know a pad is a wet pad is where you mag float the edges where you mag float around pipes or along the wall we snap a chalk line on that wall concrete wall and then we'll mag that pad as you can see it's nice and smooth along the wall and that's what we go by when we screed but right now I got one guy standing still and the other guy kind of screeding down the edge. So we like, you know, we've been doing it quite a while. So the rhythm of the straight edge is, is pretty even between both of us. You can see we, we just pull it about six or eight inches at a time. And then when we, when we pull it towards us, we slightly pick it up and tilt it towards us. It just makes for an easier more relaxing type of rhythm otherwise your fingers and your wrist can get pretty sore if it's if the straight edge is stiff so we like just to have an even flow to it as we straight edge it's pretty important to have a good guy raking the concrete that's me raking it right there um, obviously you want to be pulling back just a little bit you want about an inch or so of concrete behind it and pulling that back so it doesn't get low and there isn't any holes. Again, guys, if you like this kind of stuff, go ahead down there and hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. So we pull and we kick. Pull and we kick to fill our feet. Pull and kick. It takes a little bit of, there's a little bit of a learning curve to this. I mean, it, you're just not going to go down there and grab that thing on the first day and expect to be real good at it. This is a good way to learn right here is with a small straight edge, just doing a small piece, something that you can control really slow. Pull it towards you, kick. Pull it towards you, kick. Fill in your feet. Pull and kick. It may look kind of easy, but it's not as easy as it looks to do all that and then not dig in on those outside edges to keep that right where it should be. So the floor stays nice and flat. Our floors, when we're done, they're within an eighth of an inch when we do this. If you take the laser and check it after they've been power trialed, 
they're all within an eighth of an inch. It's pretty flat. You always got to kick in there to fill it where your feet were. Straight edge around the pipe and then pull out any little bit of high you have around the pipe and then mag float it nice and smooth and flat. So I mean if you did this every day you, you could get good at this in about a week. If you did a, a floor like this five days in a row you'd pick up the rhythm. It's, it's you know it's the rhythm between your hands, your arms, and your feet and then making sure that outside of that straight edge doesn't dig into the floor or or leave a hump on the floor. You want to be leaving that little bit of a line as you're going down that outside edge. Like a 16 inch, inch line or an eighth of an inch line. You can see that guy pulling the concrete back. That's pretty important. The closer he can keep that to perfect, the easier it is to straight edge, that's for sure. You can see that guy over there on the right, pulling, kick, pulling, kick, filling in his boots. Now with me, if the concrete's high enough, it just fills in where your boots are anyway. You don't have to kick as much, which is what I like. I don't like to kick too much. I only kick when I have to. You can see that straight edge is slightly tipped on the back edge. That makes it really easy. So you're either going to, you know, when you do a, a floor like this, you're either going to use a, a hand screed or you're going to use a vibra screed, more, most, most likely. And we just find that when we're going around a bunch of pipes and stuff like this and the floor isn't that big, that the floor comes out really nice and flat when we hand screed. Going around pipes and boxes and stuff sticking out of the floor with a vibra screed tends to leave the floor just a little bit more up and down, a little bit more humpy than we like. We've all been doing this a long time. I've been doing it 35 plus years. The guy in the white over 20, the guy in the gray over 15. So we've been doing it together a long time. Let's see, we're getting right down to the end now. This floor probably took us about 35 to 40 minutes total to pour and do everything. You can see doing it by yourself isn't quite as quite as bad. You just go at your own pace. All you gotta worry about is your own feet. Pull and kick. Pull and kick. Slightly on the back edge. Leaves the floor fairly smooth. So when you go to bow float it, it's quite easy to bow float. Here we're going to finish that one last piece off, guys. So again, if you if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead down there and subscribe. I'm coming out with these videos two or three times a week about all kinds of different things to do with concrete. Uh, leave a comment down in the comments if you already know how to screed like this. And if you're going to learn, if you want to learn, then leave a comment that says learn. Uh, I'd appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.